I think it goes without saying that making games is fairly difficult. As a result, it's important for devs to use all of the tools available to them to ensure that development is as simple as possible. In this video, I will showcase one of these tools, namely curves, and how to use them in Godot to save yourself hours of tinkering in GDScript. In game development, there are many situations where you need to define a relationship between an input value and an output value. This happens all of the time. If you're creating an FPS game with damage drop-off, you would want to define the relationship between the distance of the enemy to the player and the amount of damage being applied when they are hit. Or, if you're creating a moving platform in a 2D platformer, you'd want to define the relationship between time passed and the position of the platform. Most of these relationships can be adequately represented by a linear function, where the input is proportional to the output. This can work perfectly for the platform example, where a moving platform can move linearly between two points. However, there are times where we'd want these relationships to be non-linear. Whilst expressing linear relationships within code can be quite easy, expressing non linear relationships within code can be quite difficult. This is where our damage drop-off example comes in. Whilst we could write out the damage drop-off we want for our weapon, it isn't particularly elegant. Instead, it would be much easier to just look at the graph we want and get the damage drop-off from that graph. This is where curves come in. In Godot, you can just draw the graph you want and sample directly from it. All of a sudden, the code is much more readable and with the curve in view, it's much easier to understand. Let's walk through both of the examples I mentioned. First, the moving platform. Here is the code for the platform that moves linearly between the two points. It's pretty simple, flipping the direction once reaching either of the points. And here is the code that uses the curve. It requires a few more lines of code, but it allows us to easily create new and interesting behavior from a simple curve. Every physics frame, the position is set to an interpolated point between the beginning and end of the path. On the curve, zero is the beginning of the path and one is the end. The sampling point is also updated every frame and bounces between zero and one. So the movement of the platform between these two points is represented by the curve. Adjusting the curve demonstrates demonstrates how it determines the platform's movement. Next, let's look at weapon damage drop-off. To use a curve, all I need to do is calculate the distance between the player and the target. The curve is then sampled using the distance to the target as a proportion of the maximum distance for this weapon. This gives us a multiplier for the damage in a 0 to 1 range, where 1 is the maximum amount of damage that can be applied with this weapon, being applied when you're close to the target, with this multiplier decreasing as you get further away from the target, reducing the amount of damage. Hopefully the concepts in this video were actually useful. If they were, a like and sub are always appreciated.